Now, we've all had a laugh over the last couple of seasons about just how much Graham Souness seems to despise Paul Pogba. But after his comments last night, Paul Pogba's man of the match winning performance against Young Boys, I feel it's time somebody actually finally called Graham Souness out on the bullshit that he is spreading. What I want to do is run through Graham Souness' comments from last night and critique them just as much as he seems to be hypercritical of Paul Pogba. In general, for United, what are the positives? Full back. Yep, Diogo Delot, fantastic. We learned nothing about De Gea. He had to deal with some long-range shots, but you know, other goalkeepers might have found it, might have found them difficult. Again, fair. I don't think we learned too much about David De Gea. We already know he's a world-class goalkeeper. We didn't need him to play young boys to know that. Um, what else do we know? Fred. Fred weren't good Fred, enough. Fred. Fred. Sure. We went to see. <laughs> Not this show in anyway. Yeah. No. You know, I, I saw him play live at. Brighton, second game of the season wasn't very good. I've not seen anything to get me thinking he's a, he'll deal with our, our football. Again, comments on Fred, somewhat fair. I think Fred has a little bit underwhelmed, but he's settling in at Man United. It's not easy to do that. So United fans are going to give him patience. But again, fair comment. Um, the positives, Lukaku worked really hard again. But Lukaku works hard every single game. Martial was OK. Martial, Martial Rashford, in and out. Martial, in and out. Again, Martial and Rashford both quite in and out of the game. I think Martial played better as the second half went on and got his first goal in eight months. It's going to make a massive difference to him. But again, fair comment. Um, the young fullback really impressed us. Again, Diogo Delot deserves all the praise he gets for a fantastic debut. But when asked about the positives to take from that game for Manchester United, Graeme Sooner somehow manages to not talk about Paul Pogba. The person who scored the first goal, the person who scored the second goal, the person who got the assist for the third goal, the person who got man of the match, the person who completed the most touches, completed the most passes. He was fantastic against young boys. But somehow, Graham Souness has managed to miss him out when talking about the positives for Manchester United in that game. Is that on purpose? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. And Souness's agenda against Pogba, just his inability to seemingly compliment Pogba when he has a good game. Fair. Criticise Pogba when he plays poorly. He has played poorly this season. Away at Brighton, away at Spurs. Two games that really passed Pogba by. But he was fantastic away against Watford. He was fantastic against Burnley. And he was fantastic against Young Boys. And not once have I heard Graeme Souness give Paul Pogba a compliment. And it's virgin on... Well, it's not virgin on it. It's completely embarrassing for the fact that this continues to happen. And it only got worse in the interview. Souness was asked directly by the presenter, do you regret any of the criticism you've given to Paul Pogba? Some of your historic uh, criticism of Paul Pogba. You two goals and assist three key passes, which are passes to set up chances. You regained possession 11 times, which is the most of any United player. 93% passing accuracy, the most of any United player who started the game. 40 passes in the opposition half. Again, most of any United player, and the second in, in touches behind, uh, just behind Matic. No, no, no. So after being read out the fact that Pogba had two goals and assists, created three key chances, had the most touches, had the most completed passes, Sooner still flat out refused to give Paul Pogba a compliment. And even further in the interview, Sooner goes on to question whether. Oh, maybe there's something wrong behind the scenes that Pob is not training properly and needs to change his attitude. He's just flat out firing accusations with zero evidence against a player who has been fantastic on quite a lot of occasions this season. I understand that critics and pundits, they have to be critics. That's their job. They have to identify problems and speak about it. But fucking give a man a compliment. Praise a player when it is due. Because the agenda from you soon is absolutely stinks against Pogba and it's about time that somebody finally called you up on it.